This is troubleshooting hard stuck code, engine power reduced, P0641, a 2007 LT 3.9 liter uh, Impala. I had recently changed the engine oil pressure sensor, EOS or EOP, uh, worked perfect for a day and then the next day stalled out. Uh, had engine power reduced, the car started back up. I was able to drive to work, but wasn't able to leave work. And right there you could see the connector cable, which I'm wondering might be the cause of concern. I would currently unplug with the battery hooked up. Uh, probably not great, but I'm gonna see if I can put my DMM, and I finally know what the pins are. I had to do some digging, but the pins layout is here. Should be one and three, I'm sorry, pin one and two, so the right and left. That clip's really busted up, and that's why I'm worried it's not working. But, you can see it's, they, they kind of all bent when I think I first took them out. But you can kind of see the triangle. Ugh. Yeah. All right, a little update. Uh, first of all, the pin broke off when I was trying to put it on. And also, uh, if anyone was cringing, the fact this was energized and that hanging on it made sense because every time that touched, it made a noise. So, yeah. Battery's disconnected now, and um, I'm just going to cut that connector off. I've got a new one ordered, and if you're wondering in the early stages of the new Freeform app on uh, the new Apple platform, if you try resyncing locally to iCloud, it just deletes it because I had a bunch of electrical diagrams saved on it, and I tried saving it to my phone, and it just deleted it, and I lost all the diagrams. But we're still going to cut this wire, and uh, hopefully Apple fixes that fucking problem. Now that I know the connector works, I've got my half pound or <clears throat> half inch torque wrench on it. I've set it to 12 foot pounds, or at least as close as I can. And now I'm gonna set it and tighten it up. All right, had to make sure I had all the tools to get that oil sensor back on, and it is back on, and now I've got the wires separated. There they are. Gotta get a nice little view. Just try to be as gentle as possible separating them while getting that tape off. You kinda see them down there. I can also zoom out back in so you can really see them. There they are. Now I've got to strip them and line them up with a new connector and just hope that that's gonna be it. I also used some Goo Gone kind of with some paper towels as I was doing that to kind of help weaken the adhesive and clean up the wires. I'm sure anything that's anti-grease, general cleaner would probably help as you do that too, but just as a, that's what I did, FYI. All right, a few days later, finally got each wire stripped off the engine and pre-stripped and crimped the connector and crimped on all the connectors. I'll kind of shine it down in there so you can see. But yeah, it was a pain, but it is doable. 
and I just started it up after putting the battery back on and it did start up pretty well. No engine, no engine power reduced, but I still need to take it out on the drive because there's times when I shifted into gear and it threw a code. So we'll have to wait and see. Well, started it up, no codes, took it for a test drive for putting more insulation on it. I tried to put as much as I can. I ended up doing a pretty loose kind of wrap of electrical tape around the crimps um, just to give it some protection. It should be fairly static, but you know, we want to try to make sure nothing breaks down there. So there's I made sure at least, I guess, make sure you don't have any bare wires like rubbing up on a pipe or frame or something. But I didn't see that, so I'm gonna call it good. We'll see how it runs tomorrow, I guess. But first test drive, pretty good. No codes right out the bat. No engine power reduced. It was running full power back again, which is nice. So, well, we'll see.